Gentlemen, tell me what business needs to be taken care of this week. Uh, well, boss, it's, it's not so much a matter of what, but a matter of who. Uh, well, Lonnie, our mailman, uh, was caught wearing a wire. Boss, you just let us know how and when, okay? Lonnie is a dead man. No, Lonnie loves woodworking, right? We go to his shop, put his head in his vice, squeeze it till his eyes pop out. You let us know, boss. We can get that done by tomorrow. Tell our mailman it's overnight shipping. Or, we go to his house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him where it hurts. We walk up to his door. Mm -hmm. We ring the doorbell. Mm -hmm. And we run away real fast. Boss, are you, are, you, are you talking like you want us to ding-dong ditch line? He's playing fear in that rat's head. Every time he comes to the door, he's going to think that someone's there to whack him. When in reality, it could just be some punk neighborhood kids trying to have a, a fun Saturday night out, huh? I just, I don't know if that's... You know, uh, I'm just saying, maybe we explore some alternatives to whacking him. Maybe we just send a message. Yeah, send a message. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like a bullet to the knee, yeah. huh? Maybe we pull out his fingernails a little bit. Or we hop in my Chevelle. We drive down to his wife's bakery. Burn it down. Yeah. Yeah, we can burn the whole place down with her inside. She's trapped in the kitchen. A burning, fiery death. Or we go down to the bakery, as you mentioned, and we order some of those delicious cupcakes, right? Those things are out of this world. And we tell her to her face how much we enjoy them. But then we go home and we write terrible Yelp reviews on those things. How does that scare anyone? Yelp reviews are the backbone of the restaurant industry. I mean, no customers are going to go in there after they read all the reviews. I mean, Tom. boss, when, when Tommy Meatballs turned state witness, we blew up his butcher yeah, shop. Yeah, exactly. Boss, why can't we do him like we did Meatballs? When we blew up Meatballs' butcher shop, he collected insurance on it. I mean, he was back in business in under 12 months. We write a bad Yelp review. She's going under for good. Boss, I'm sorry. It's just, uh, you're being a bit of a people pleaser. I ain't no people pleaser, Joey. I'm a tough guy who does tough things. We're not saying you're not tough. I know I bet I'm tough, Ronnie, okay? Sometimes you come in here with your big head. Well, now we're body shaming? It's not his fault he has an abnormally large head. Why do you gotta take it there, boss? I didn't mean it like he has a big head like that. I'm not body shaming Joey, Ronnie. I'm just saying maybe our heads sometimes get too big and we take it too far and we can just peel it back a little bit, you know? B boss, we're the mom. I mean, I'm just saying, boys, you ever go home at night when your head hits the pillow and just think like, maybe you didn't have to go there, you know? And we took it there and, you know, all right, well, the Rizzoli family has been selling their product on our turf. What do you want us to do? Legos on the carpet. Try dealing product with hurt feet. You know what I'm saying? Who left these here? Oh. What about Sunny Salami Palermo? The ice cream truck driver. We know he's skimming. We take him out to a nice dinner, right? We make sure everyone's watching, servers, managers, owners, everything, right? When he comes back from the restroom, drop this on a seat. You want to hit him with a fake fire? It's going to be embarrassing for the whole bunch. Boss, this isn't eighth grade. And also, your Uncle Rico Alfredo was just caught planning a coup. What are you gonna do about I'm gonna him? tell my Uncle Alfredo he'll be swimming with the fishes. Finally! Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Cement shoes, I'm huh? I'm not saying we kill him with the fishes. I'm saying he can swim with the fishes. We'll sign him up for some scuba diving lessons. And therefore, he will be swimming with the fishes. And he's overweight, so he's already not gonna like that. You wanna talk about eating up your Saturday, too? I mean, I think those are what? Eight, nine hours? You want to take the guy's weekends away? We go to his house. We go to a silverware drawer. We replace the spoons with forks, right? He's going to be all messed up. Decision fatigue. You think you're going to get him with the silverware switch? His laundry. We mix the whites with the colors. I mean, he's going to be losing color intensity real fast. Boss, none of this at all is intimidating. We go classic home alone with it. We put a water pail on top of his front door. He opens it. Splash. What, like a Nickelodeon super slime? You're not the same boss I knew. How about this? Huh? How about this? I've been sleeping with your wife. Okay? Laurie and me been doing it on top of the charcuterie board. You been sleeping with Laurie? What are you gonna do? So tie my shoelaces together so I'm late in the morning? I like you, Joey. But you leave me no choice. Boss, boss, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, just look, 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 set my clocks back an hour, okay? So I'm always late, all right? I have Tony Prick call me, tell me I've won an award. A and, then I, and then I show up and, I and there's no award and I get goofed. I don't want to have to do that. Boss, please, you don't, you don't gotta do anything, boss. It's, it's okay, boss. It's like, what are you doing? What? That's so uncomfortable! I'll strap him to the bed and tickle his feet.